Hey guys, and welcome back. We are in Clayfield, in the main hood. And first let's just admire this lovely lighthouse, shall we? I love this decoration. There are actually two lighthouses in Clayfield. And I thought that we could first look around the main hood. And this is especially for those of you guys who are new to my channel and maybe maybe have not seen the first um, tour episode of Clayfield. So it's a lovely day in Clayfield. It's uh, still springtime. Sorry, <laughs> no, not spring, fall. And this is the main hood, as I said. Here is uh, uh, some uh, shopping area, some shopping areas, uh, some businesses, and the schools are right here. The high school and elementary school. And there's the... Sorry, my camera mod is a little jaggedy jaggedy. <laughs> here is the police station and the fire station and some more businesses that we are going to visit in the future episodes and there's the um, cemetery that we already visited in the previous episode and the church and there is a lot of businesses all these lots here uh, uh, on the screen are businesses all of these ones and there's a lot of them I believe there are currently uh, somewhere uh, just above uh, 30 businesses in Clayfield and more to come so it's constantly growing and here is the public beach right here and some small residential houses that are still available and here are some families here is the Gallagher house um, Hamilton, Hamilton Gallagher who we already visited and some more families are here and here is the Golden Hills retirement home right here and some apartments and more businesses and there's the city hall and <laughs> ninja alarms as you can see the ninja standing on top of the building and some more businesses and there's the bank as you can see there's the sign and Rocky's uh, fitness store is right there and a gym some apartments and residential houses and there is the B&B which we already saw in the previous episode as well as the orphanage and the teen center the purple building right there and I forgot to show you in the previous tour episode the newest uh, residential area and that is the houseboat houseboat harbor so here are actually residential uh, beach lots with some houseboats so sims are able to move here if they feel like living uh, <laughs> on the beach and there's also some um, sailboats a little harbor area and here is going to be a bigger uh, houseboat apartment area so there's a lot for three houseboats so yeah this is a 
nice little uh, beach harbor area for the houseboats. And there is the bus uh, bus terminal where Sims can uh, hop <laughs> hop a bus and go to Clayton Vi Clayton Village. And there is the university um, football field. Sorry, my brain just keeps farting, as you know <laughs> already. And here is the campus area. There is some dorms here and some businesses. And here is Clayfield Student Center. And the university library. And also some small apartments for the young adults. And there is a Greek house. And here on the other side of the railway bridge is the science center and observatory, which we will also be uh, visiting in a future episode. Okay, so a little tiny tour of the main hood for you guys. And today we are actually going to visit the next Gallagher household, which is Savio Gallagher's home. So, I'll see you in just a second, guys. So, this is Savio's house. And let's just dive right to the gameplay, shall we? And see what's going on inside the house. Because it's probably going to be one of those interesting episodes. And uh, first of all, I have to say that this is actually one of those households that I try to avoid playing with. But why is that, Mara? You may ask. <laughs> Trust me, you will know where we see inside the house. So, it's a neat, pretty neat little house. I built it myself. And let's see what's happening. There is a total mayhem going on. Yeah. This is actually one of those households <laughs> where what's were born and there are four toddlers running all over the place and there's also one child and luckily the toddlers are going to grow up soon oh I'm so happy about that and um, until that happens it's going to be a mayhem but anyway let's see the family and sorry guys, the music is not playing right now because uh, the game is paused. So the music will be back in uh, shortly. But anyway, let's see the family. First of all, this is the head of the household, Savio Gallagher. And Savio is actually the second born of Bennett Nova, which we saw already in a previous episode. So yeah, Savio, and Savio is Hamilton's uh, brother, and Michelle, who we saw in the previous episode, um, Savio is Michelle's uncle. And Savio is a knowledge fortune sim, who actually owns two bi uh, businesses, and we are going to see at least one of them in this episode. And Savio's bio, his traits are cat lover, social butterfly, bookworm, athletic, and loves the outdoors. Savio married one of the Max Kittles twins, Doris, who is right here. We actually saw Doris's um, little brother in the previous episode, and that is Edison. Edison got engaged to the mayor's daughter at the B&B. And Doris is 
it's a big sister and uh, Savio and Doris I think they met when they were um, children at school and they have been together for quite some time actually and this is actually these are one of those um, sibs who have actually managed to uh, graduate from college in Clayfield I think they are um, well, <laughs> most of my sims usually drop out because they, um, I play according to their wants, and if they don't roll any wants to study, yeah, well, you can guess what happens. They barely manage to go to classes, and usually they just um, end up dropping out of college. But anyway, uh, Doris and Savio actually graduated and soon after that they started their own family and <laughs> I have to say I'm still a little bit miffed about um, them having quads because I really wasn't prepared for them <laughs> and they are uh, a lot of work for me but yeah anyway so uh, Doris is a knowledge She's sim and her traits are angler, artistic, genius, bookworm and family oriented. And Doris's mom is actually Lottie. You can see her name here. I don't know how to um, pronounce it correctly. But anyway, Lottie and she is the local author, uh, the novelist whose books are being sold at the um, book, bar book barn and yeah okay so <laughs> sorry guys so yeah this is Doris and their uh, oldest kid is Kenny Kenny is a cute boy and his traits are angler, bookworm and natural born performer and yeah let's take a deep breath and see the quads and the first one is <laughs> right here she's a cute little girl and her na name is Angelia and I think uh, Savio named her after his mom who died a couple of rounds back so Angelia and her traits are angler and athletic and the next quad there are actually two boys and two girls and the next one is a boy called Harmon and Harmon's uh, traits are genius and social, social butterfly and the other boy is right here and this is Merlin and Merlin's traits are bookworm and social butterfly and the last one is a girl uh, if, it, if we can see her well here she is and this is Whitney and Whitney's traits are artistic and athletic and they also have two pets. They have a kitty. Here, this is Tix. That's T I X. And a little uh, beagle mix doggy, and his name is Jack. So, this is the family. And uh, as I said, <laughs> it's going to be a mayhem because there are so many sims plus two pets and the quads are still toddlers and they have stingy diapers and oh my gosh <laughs> and there's also Savio's two businesses and yeah it's going to be a lot of work but anyway let's just dive in and see if we can manage it <laughs> it's going to be interesting Okay, so 
Savio is having some relaxing time in the bathroom, but not for long, because the toddlers need to be taken care of, taken care of, and yeah, oh my goodness, a lot of work, stinky diapers. And I don't think Doris has the luxury of continuous sleeping with these these toddlers. So let's just wake her up and let's see. Doris is actually working in a local hair salon. She's a stylist there and she has to go to work. Uh, very soon. Okay, and change Angelia's diaper too. And let's see. Um, potty train, Harmon. Yeah, good girl. Nothing says good morning like a baby throwing up on you. <laughs> okay, so let's um, check the kids' needs. I don't think. Um, yeah, none of them are uh, yet potty trained, so. We will have to do that. I think it's a bit of a challenge to try to fit all these sims to this house, but it's still a um, great improvement because they used to live in a little apartment and you know, <laughs> that's impossible to raise five kids in a small apartment. So I built them this house on the um, previous round. Uh, okay, so Doris is going to work now and Savio is going to have to deal with the <laughs> kids all by himself. But you know, there are these adorable moments that we just have to appreciate with the toddlers, even though it's a lot of work to uh, try to keep them alive, <laughs> especially when there are four of them. I think this um, turtle huggle is probably one of my favorite things in the game. And as I I have mentioned before, turtles are probably my favorite age group in The Sims. So I'll just take some pictures. Yeah, they are cute little boys. And let's see, see their needs. They're doing actually okay. I do use quite a lot of this um, uh, modded um, objects, like these toddler beds. The toddlers are actually able to uh, go to sleep autonomously. And I'm also using, I have to show this, this wonderful, uh, wonderful modded object as soon as I can find it. There. This is a simological bottomless bottle and it's really neat. It's a baby bottle which 
is bottomless, <laughs> so <laughs> the milk uh, never ends, and the kids are able to eat whenever they are hungry, and the uh, older sims actually don't try to clean these bottles from the uh, from the floor. So yeah, it's uh, really neat and very useful. So I re uh, really recommend it. So yeah, what was I doing? <laughs> so yeah, ha Ham, no, Savio is uh, really having his hands full with the kids and Kenny has gone to uh, school and that's cute. So yeah, they really didn't plan to have this many kids. And as I said, I'm still a little miffed about um, Doris popping four kids. But anyway, um, there are at least uh, three sets of quads in Clayfield. But uh, luckily these are the uh, last quads to be this young. So, uh, let's see, actually I thought about sending Savio to his business, but uh, since Doris is working right now, we will have to hire a babysitter or ask one of the relatives to come over and watch the kids. And I did have some uh, weird problems with the uh, watch kids mod earlier, so I will have to check if it, if it works now and I'll be back in just a second guys Okay guys, I did uh, do some checking and luckily the watch uh, kids mod is working properly, so I will tell you what's happening here if you remember from a previous episode, this is Katarina Payne or Kate, and she is a resident nanny here in Clayfield. She owns the daycare. And they, uh, Savio and Kate, have actually uh, discussed about him hiring Kate to watch the kids. And Savio is here talking about how uh, he needs to tend his businesses and asking if Kate is able to watch the kids and she looks very excited as you can see <laughs> okay and I have noticed that they actually had to become friends before the option uh, showed up. So here as you can see Savio is now able to ask Kate to watch kids. So let's do that. And I'm considering this conversation to be, you know, like a interview uh, Savio is asking if you if she have has any experience with kids and if she minds uh, looking after <laughs> for uh, toddlers. So yeah, uh, here Kate has accepted and she is now working as a nanny for this household, and now Savio is able to go and. Tend his businesses. And Doris is still at work and Kenny is still at school. It's currently uh, 1 30 pm and we are going to send Savio to, I think it's going to be his, uh, his gym. But that will happen in the next episode. So now we will end this episode right here and in the next episode we are going to see Savio's gym. Thank you so much for watching 
I hope you enjoyed it and have a great night.